Uh, we are here with uh, Jitin Prasad Ji, the P PWD Minister of uh, UP. So glad to be with you and uh, thank you again for joining uh, Bharat Mark. Appreciate it highly. Hmm? Uh, Jitin Prasad Ji, I just want to ask you a question. You know, uh, there was a there was a deficit of uh, Brahman. This thing it was felt in the last election. Like that, when you join BJP, where you were brought in as a chair of the Brahman community, kind of thing, you know. I just want to ask you. Uh, so, did you inspire Parashram circuit, or it was there before you coming? I want to know more about it. Well, as far as your first uh, part of your question is, the party, the Bharatiya Janata Party, believes in taking all sections and all communities and giving them representation. But as far as the Pashuram Janasthali is concerned, I happen to belong to Shahjanpur, where there is a place called Jalalabad, mm -hmm. and uh, Pashuram Janasthali is in that place, and a temple is there, where uh, crores of people's uh, faith in Bhagwan Pashuram Ji, and it is only my duty that being from here, that we develop the Pashuram Janasthali at a national stage and also connect uh, other centers of faith, the Nameshwaran Dham of Sitapur, the Gola Gogaranath, the Choti Kashi of this region in Lakhimpur, Purnagri Temple in Uttaranchal next to Pilibhi, Pashuram Janasthali in Jalalabad, and Baba Nainkoli Ji's temple and place of birth in Tharukhava. So this all connectivity and a circuit which can be dedicated to Bhagwan Pashuram Ji and uh, be in his birthplace. It is only rightful and uh, that the time has come that we ensure that the people's faith is respected and a huge monument is created on his birthplace. Means it's a large project, you know. I, I was just covering it basically. I was impressed because uh, 500 kilometer long and uh, 5,000 crore project it is never have done on Bhagwan Parashram before, you know. I just want to ask you, what is your vision for this corridor? What are all the things? We, like, for example, tomorrow, if somebody wants to, uh, some devotee of Parashramji wants to come here, will, what they will see in this corridor? No, of course, it's, uh, it's going to be planned uh, very meticulously. And uh, the life and times and history and people's faith on Bhagwan Parashram has to be uh, amplified. And uh, those people who have faith can come and uh, it will be a center uh, of all uh, people who believe in Bhagavan Pashura and uh, also the economic activity that transcends any any development that takes place. So apart from the historical uh, aspect of it and the belief aspect of it, we are looking at creating this circuit where the tourists and uh, people, followers come from across the world. And this region also gets that economic fill up in terms of tourism, industry, you know, um, hospitality and jobs are created, economic development happens, so it's a, both. Absolutely. I, I, I want to applaud you and the government for doing this because I have only seen Nanaman so far for Sahasravju, not for, <laughs> not, not for Bhagavan Parashram per se. You know what I'm talking about, you know. Anyway, so now that. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And. Uh, uh, let me ask you this, is there, uh, this is one way to catch the Brahman vote or you have any particular... No, no, there is nothing about votes. Huh. It's about that people's faith and about the historical history behind it that Shahjanpur district has a place called Jalalabad which is known as the Pasharam Janasthali. It is only rightful and it is my duty going from here to ensure that a monument in his name and people's faith is respected. It's not about votes. Absolutely. But see, uh, one of the things you were talking about, uh, Jalalabad, I was there doing a Jansabha over there to know what the people are wanting. 
you know so when i was talking to them few things uh, that came in one of the thing was uh, people were saying you know what we are sick and tired of jalalabad we want it to be called as parashuram puri officially will yeah, there is a demand for that as well yeah but that um, the government will as and when it feels like or uh, according to what the rules are uh, how to go about that but the primary aim right now is not about uh, nomenclatures it's about ensuring that the faith of the people is respected and that monument uh, which will be developed for people uh, to come and visit and pay their respects and tributes and uh, pray to bhagwan pashuram ji uh, should be done I, i agree with you but like faizabad faizlabad became ayodhya you know uh, is it is not a time for parashuram puri maybe we'll, by the time the card is starting there is a huge demand for the name change i feel that but that is second okay and uh, see one of the other uh, thing i want to bring it to your notice maybe you didn't know you know and uh, there is a ram tawa there you know uh, in uh, bhagwan parashuram stali i was doing a janasabha there i was talking to mahanji and other people there who are uh, stakeholders of the temple and uh, there is a well constructed drainage that is coming into the ramtala so if the people want to take shower you know over yeah. there in our tirtha stal it happens in many of our tirth only in our kunds it happens you are right you are right that's what the plan is to ensure that when i say development of the pashuram janasthali i not only mean the sanctum and the temple but around the the ramtala or how it can be cleaned how can it be made uh, to a, a place where people can you know um, visit and uh, take a dip into the right. thing and uh, it's going to be something which should be very clean hygienic and people's faith is respected right. because the sewage uh, it's it's kind of a well constructed one we have, i want so all those things will be taken into when Absolutely. when we are going in for that thing and another uh, demand uh, Uh, i will love to know is uh, will there be any parashuram ji statue over there in jalalabad like what you said it's a parashuram puri and of it course, is a pride and joy of the that we we'll, uh, it's ayodhya of parashuram ji. not disturbing the sanctum and the original identity of the of the place of course uh, we will be ensuring that uh, the government plans to uh, have a monument with the best architects and designers who will ensure that uh, the visibility of the place and the uh, huge pashuram ji is murti uh, is stall and and also one of the other i see this all demands that came out of there one of the things what uh, they were uh, what was coming out was there should there could be a museum that uh, this is the yeah, life and die as like i said yeah like, like, because there is a lot of misconception about all it. that we will go in for uh, those things where there will be a museum or walk through the tall cleanliness everything will be all uh, 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 fine i i just uh, and the ashram uh, there is a jala uh, jan uh, jamadagni maharishi's ashram yeah. that place is also uh, kind of behind uh, yeah. very we're not very connected so hopefully that will be connected to no no but you've seen uh, it will be completely done with planning and as you have seen uh, honorable prime minister uh, he has in short the transformation of kashi vishwanath temple at one point in time the footfall was uh, a few lakhs but uh, i can tell you after the transformation and the uh, kayakalp of uh, kashi vishwanath dam Uh, the footfall has reached uh, seven crores in one year. Absolutely, it has transformed uh, not only the temple but the whole city. So, thank you for that. Uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I, I have a couple of. Uh, I was in Goa, Goa, yeah. Gokarnath, and uh, people are excited about the Karada coming. I want to say you yeah. that up front. You know, wherever I went, nothing but positive things are coming out. I am excited. I want to assure you that I will come back here in two years again back, and I will come and see you to say thank you. You will Hopefully. see that. You will see that transformation you know? in, in these two years. Absolutely. And when I was talking to the uh, people there in Naimisharanyam and other dams, 
they were concerned about one thing i just want to get some clarity from you yeah, like uh, when the corridor comes like it came in ayodhya there were lot of uh, uh, bulldozing of the homes and the old ashrams and uh, naimisharanim especially this concern was there mm. you know here all the corridors are coming here what will happen to the old ashrams and uh, no, no, of course the government respects the fate of people and uh, of course ancient architecture has to be preserved at all costs so everything that is going to be planned will this will be kept in mind that does not ensure uh, destruction of our uh, ancient heritage and uh, that's what the whole idea is to ensure that the new surge of footfall that is smooth and as well as the old ancient culture and our Uh, heritage is protected absolutely because this was one of the things what no, was no, talked about concern, you know what i am asking is people's concern there concerns you know there but government respects the concern absolutely and uh, and uh, i am going almost coming to the end of it i have couple of questions now uh, the corridor you will have all the five star hotels and other things coming up and uh, the people are asking whether this will be a uh, tirtha corridor or it will be converted into a tourist spot no no nothing happen. it's not that's not the, 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 the call is and the and the priority is ensuring these places of religion and religious uh, monuments and temples mm-hmm. get the rightful you know expands where they are developed into huge centers of uh, you know and along with that private participation will automatically uh, grow and uh, it will be uh, there for the economy to you know take shape where uh, people can set up what they feel but the whole intent is to ensure that the place of religious sentiment and faith gets the necessary fill up in terms of facilities access and about its history no meat no liquor or those kind those of, of course those are people's faith right so that whatever is there will be protected i am coming to the last question of it uh, you know i was talking to some of the priests in the tirth corridor bhagwan uh, one request they have for you specifically is uh, this is called as parashuram tirth corridor but they want the name to be bhagwan parashuram tirth yes, corridor yes, yes, yes. because it is mentioned uh, parashuram no, tirth bhagwan parashuram name will be the no bhagwan yes uh, yes yes okay of it will be there because yes. in the current documents i see parashuram like in initial stages it's not yeah, no, that's okay bringing it to the of notice of so the boss that because this will uh, give so much boost to what no, you are no, trying to do that's be, a goal of will be absolutely after and uh, many of the priest quarters they fear will be uh, erased or demolished from next to the temple during the corridor coming they are very uh, scared we, we will be posted uh, our homes will be moved away oh, uh, from the temple is all as, you know yeah, especially in gola once uh, the monument design is in place everything will be done by taking into uh, the consideration people's uh, concerns and we will talk you find out wherever it is necessary you know alternative arrangements will be made so there will be no bulldozing ideas and uh, displacing somebody uh, against their wishes absolutely yeah, um, my my questions are done but here is one for you uh, you have so much of supporters of parashuram ji bhagwan parashuram they feel that uh, the enough credit was never given before this this particular thing uh, if you are talking to the devotees of bhagwan parashuram what you would like to say them uh, you please i can tell them the time has come and uh, if for any reason whatever neglect they face as far as bhagwan parashuram is uh, is concerned and that uh, is over i can assure them as you have seen the prime minister the home minister the chief minister all who have come to shahjanpur have paid tributes in respect to bhagwan parashuram first of all kind and uh, this government believes in respecting the sentiment and the faith of people of this country and abroad and anywhere who have uh, their faith 
and we will ensure that the rightful place is given. Absolutely, and uh, uh, from uh, as a devotee of Bhagwan Parashram myself and from the audience, I want to thank you and uh, Yogi Ji government for uh, giving such a honor for first of a kind to Bhagwan Parashram, and we will love to come back here and watch what I miracles you. what you are doing. I invite not only you and everybody from uh, across uh, India and abroad in Canada that you are where you are from. Absolutely. That day is not far when you will see a uh, Bhagya temple of Bhagwan Pashram on his birthday. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Minister, thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Hare Krishna.